All right, now we're going to work on our height. Um, but the thing we got to remember is all of these heights are telling us the total height. And we're only working on half of it because we're going to revolve it around the uh, center line. So we want to use all of these numbers but divide them by 2. Going back to our inventor file, we have this. And we want to um, finish editing. So right click on your sketch 1 and go to edit sketch. Don't create a new sketch. We want to edit this sketch. All right. <clears throat> so now we want to use our dimensioning. And here's where we're going to plug in some numbers. So um, I'm going to start just over here. And so here to here is 0.19 divided by 2. And then we want to dimension there to there, 0.25 divided by 2. And now I want to dimension there and 0.29 divided by 2. All right, so the right side's pretty much done. Now let's work on the left side. So dimensioning from the bottom of this line to this part is 0.19 divided by 2. So that's the same. Uh, dimensioning here to here is 0.25 divided by 2. I want to dimension here to here, and that's 0.01. And let's dimension here to here, and that is 0.3 divided by 2. And now let's dimension here to the top, 0.4 divided by 2. Hmm. That, uh, that angle is all thrown off, huh? See if we can figure this out. So if we dimension this top point to here, that is equal to this far end. So I'm going to just click that. And there we go. You still see it's tapered away. Um, and I think we're done. So I'm going to finish the sketch, and I want to save it. So we've saved our work, and now let's revolve our, we're going to click on the revolve, and we're going to click on the axis we want to revolve around, and that's this bottom line right here. You can see it just revolved all the way around it, 360 degrees. Go ahead and click OK. And you should have something that, that looks a lot like that. Actually, it'll look exactly like that, right? OK. Let's save that again. We've got to do one more extrusion. Last thing we need to do is add some slots going down the side. So let's create a new sketch right on this edge the end point and um, project our geometry and, and this is it's going to be somewhat easier if we kind of do this from an angle so project our geometry alright and now I want to create a rectangle I'm just going to start it in the origin and I know this is um, a little different but uh, we're just going to take the part off where it intersects. So this is going to be 0 0.02. And then I'm going to create another rectangle. It's going to be the same, same size, just the opposite direction. 0 0.02. Uh, 
Uh, and now I'm going to finish this. I'm going to extrude it away, what we just drew. Extrude it away. And uh, I want that to be 0 0.2, uh, 0.25. Hit OK. Now this gap, you know, 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 is 0 0.04, which is what the um, plan is asking us for. And now we want to do a circular pattern. So I want to click on what we just did. And I want to use our rotational axis around the circle. And we want it two times. We want it once on the top, once on the bottom. Go ahead and click OK. Zoom out. And you're all done with your axle. So remember to hit save. And uh, don't forget to take a picture for your portfolio and upload it to your Google Drive as, as backup. All right.